Here is a full picture of our section one. Uh, when you got your project, you could cast this on and move right in uh, to this. And there's 11 repeats. It's very simple. And I wanted you to see the whole picture um, before we get started. All right, we're ready for section two of our Huskow. I have knit um, my six rows with my color D, I think. In the last video I talked, I used the wrong color to cast on, but I decided to keep the video because the lighter color was easier to see. Um, you do cut your yarn, and so the pattern will tell you each time whether we're carrying yarn up or not, and this we're going to cut, and I like to cut, oh, four or five inches here. And um, then we're going to introduce color A. And we're going to do a pattern that is eight rows. And this is going to have a border of five stitches. So there's always five stitches that you'll knit and then you'll move into the pattern. Um, we could do weaving in as we go. I am probably not going to do that because this wool stock light is a single ply and so it's very sticky. So once it kind of gets knit and adhered to other yarns, it's it's hard for it to pull out. So I'm just going to weave um, as I uh, get tired of the ends. I'm not going to weave it in because I've only got five stitches here and you really need eight stitches to weave in as you go. A lot of people say, well, how do you, how do you add a new yarn? Well, you just pick it up and I just knit the first stitch with it. I don't do anything special. So this, um, pattern begins with knit five and that's going to be that nice little seed border that's going to occur. So we knit five and then we knit two together and we purl four. And then, oh, there was a yarn over that was supposed to be in there. So um, need to have a yarn over in here. So we'll go ahead and take that back and just getting started on it. I don't have my pattern in my head. It's one of the things I like to do is I like to look at what the pattern is, what the rhythm is. Um, so we've got knit five, knit two together, yarn over, and then purl four. One, two, three, four. And then you will repeat that, knit two together, yarn over, purl four until the end of the row. And what's nice about that, you'll be able to tell that you're on um, because you've uh, ended up with five stitches to it, knit at the end. So I'm gonna do some more of this and then we'll come back and take a look at how it's coming together. Here we are, I'm on my 11th repeat of our eight row um, pattern. And I wanted to give you just a few more tips on uh, knitting this. When you do your knit two together, one of the things that I like to do is I pull down on that little fabric below the two stitches so that it's easier for me to insert my needle. It's really important that when you insert your needle, that you're getting both stitches. This is sometimes where people um, may drop a stitch. So just take a moment to look at that yarn over, bring it forward, and then you purl four. Let's do that again. Knit two together. Again, give this a tug so it opens up those stitches. That wool is going to bounce back. You don't have to worry that you're stretching things out. Make sure you've got both stitches, knit them together, yarn over. You may yarn over different if you throw. I'm continental, and so that's how I yarn over. We'll work to the end and make sure to do our five stitches at the end. And then I'll come back and show you what you can do to make sure that you're not losing those yarn overs. 
As I was finishing up this row, I discovered a mistake. So we're gonna have a quick little class on this. I did not do a yarn over down here. I certainly didn't catch that. And a person could go down here and fix this, but for me, good is good enough. But if I finish this row, I am short two stitches. So how would I fix this? I'm not gonna worry about this. Nobody's going to notice that when I'm wearing it, but how would I fix it? I'm due for a knit two together, um, but I need a stitch. So I'm just going to knit one, yarn over, purl, four. I'm going to stop and make sure that that is lining up and I, I kind of have to go down here you know, it looks kind of like I've got a little bit of, I think I knit two together, but I didn't do the yarn over, which is what I'm gonna show you how to correct here um, next. So again, instead of knitting two together, I'm just going to knit one, yarn over, and then I'll purl my four. And then I should have five to finish, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to avoid losing those yarn overs. Okay, here's the back side, um, and I'm back on track. I counted and I've got the correct number of stitches. Again, you can see where I'm missing that yarn over here. And um, uh, again, I have a lot of knitting to do. It's not worth it to me to pull that all back out. But I wanna show you sometimes what happens as we're going along. One, probably knit this later in the evening and that's not the best of time for me or in dim light. And this is a lighter yarn. So, you know, those things are kind of important. I like to knit my Huskow first thing in the morning to do my section. All right, so we're going to purl five stitches and then you're going to come to that yarn over so there it is so you see how easy it is if you're whipping along to pull that yarn over off so you'll want to be careful of that that you're not going to pull it off as you go along here he is again I've got it there, so I'm going to purl into that yarn over. And let's say that you are going along and you notice that you didn't do the yarn over on the previous row. I'm gonna mimic that. So you come to it and you're like, oh, I counted five, there should be a yarn over. You can simply go down and get the bar, pull it up correctly, from rear to front with the short leg in the back and create that yarn over. So this, the rest of these eight rows, the seven rows are really simple uh, to do. And so it's important to do what I didn't do and pay attention on this round. So here's my yarn over. I'm going to purl that. And then I'm going to look back. Uh, again, that's a, a wise tip is to look back and make sure you see that things are looking and lining up before you get all the way down. When, we, when we're done, then we'll block this when we're done with the whole wrap. It's looking a little poofy right now, but it's really beautiful, really fun. You'll get in a rhythm and it's going to be a nice start to your Huskow.